Hey guys, this is Pete Collins, and I'm one of the Photoshop guys over at the National Association of Photoshop Professionals, and I'm here today to help you figure out how to create collages so that you can then have them printed up at MPix as great gifts for your family or great products for your clients. Now let's jump in and see what we can do. First thing you're going to want to do in Photoshop is come up to File, choose New, and then you're probably going to be faced with something like this, Default Photoshop Size. Well, you're going to want to make sure that you're doing something that has a, uh, a reasonable size over at MPix. I've decided that a 20 by 16 is a great size for a collage. And then I'm just going to make sure that my resolution is set for 300 pixels per inch. And then I'm just going to go OK. Now, a couple quick tips for you is if you don't have it already set up, you're going to want your rulers. And the way to have them show up is to go Command-R and they simply pop up. Command R again, they disappear. We want them there. And now I'm going to bring this over so you can see it a little bit better. Next thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have Snap set up. It's under View, and you just toggle this on or off. And we want Snap set up because it's going to help us position things a little bit. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to be able to create some borders. And to help us so I can see what's going on and help you see it a little bit better, I'm going to simply fill this background with a gray. I brought up my fill dialog by just simply hitting shift and delete. And now this is going to make it a little easier to see. You don't necessarily have to do this, but it could help you. I'm going to create a new blank layer by clicking on that second icon on the right. And now I'm going to just simply drag from my ruler over and I'm going to start placing a guide on the edge of my canvas. The great thing is, is because I have these rulers up here at the very top I can see that if I drop this right here it's at a half inch. So I'm going to create a half inch border on this collage. Now I just choose my rectangular marquee tool and I make a selection right down that guide. Now I want to fill that with white. We do shift delete bring up our fill and I choose white right there. Now the great thing is, is I can deselect this I don't need the marching ants anymore, so I'm just going to go select, deselect. Remember, there's a shortcut, and it's Command D to get rid of that. Okay, so I've got this stripe right here, and I don't need that guide anymore, so with my Move tool, I'm just going to get it out of the way. Doop. Okay, I've got this layer selected. I want to make a copy of it. Command J will do that quite easily. It'll jump up a duplicate, and now I can just drag that over to the other side. If I hold my shift button down, it'll make sure to constrain it on a horizontal axis so it won't go up and down. Now I've got two sides of my frame. Well, the thing is, I want to make sure I have at least one more divider right in the middle if I'm going to do maybe a four-picture collage. So I'm going to create one more copy. Now, I don't have to do anything with that copy right now because I'm going to use Photoshop to move it. I don't have to figure out what the exact center is or anything like that. I'm just simply going to highlight all three of those stripes by holding my shift button down while I select each one of those. Now here's the tricky part. I want to make sure that I'm using the entire canvas to distribute these. So I'm going to do Command A as a shortcut and it's going to select the entire canvas. Now with these three layers selected, I'm going to come up here and on the, the third icon from the right, I'm going to click on that. What that does is it says, hey, I want you to distribute these evenly across the canvas. Okay, so now look, I've got it perfectly centered. I've got an even section here and an even section there. I can now take and deselect that. And I'm just going to put this in a group by holding shift and clicking on that third icon there so that they're all just sitting there in their own little group nestled away. Hide that, create a new layer, and I'm going to do the same thing I did on the vertical, but this time horizontally. I do half inch, grab my marquee tool, come along here, zap it, fill it with white, say OK, Command D, and now I'm going to move this guide out of the way. Command J is going to create a duplicate. I hold my shift button down so that I can move it straight down to the other side. And now I'm going to create one more duplicate, Command J, and make sure all three of these are selected. Command A selects the whole canvas. And instead of choosing this icon here, third from the right, I'm actually going to go three more over. And because it's horizontal, I'm going to use that icon there. And it's going to distribute it in the center of it vertically. So now I do Command D. And I've got that set up. 
and I'm going to make this a group itself because it's already selected. Now I've got a group. I'm going to change the name of this to horizontal just so I keep track of it. And then for this one, I'm going to choose to name it vertical. You don't necessarily have to do that, but it's a good way to keep track of what's going on. So you see what I've just created? By creating a vertical set of lines and a horizontal set of lines, I've created a nice little frame. I can do it a different way too. Let's say I don't want to have just two sections. Maybe I want three sections. Well, let's make a copy of that horizontal and see what we can do. So I'm going to hide that first group. I'm going to take the second group. I've got three stripes in here. Well, if I'm going to create three sections in here, I need to add another stripe. So I'm going to choose that middle line, hit Command J, and now I'm going to do that same process again, selecting all four of those. Command A selects the entire canvas, and I'm going to once again just hit this icon right here, and it's going to spread them out evenly. Now I've got three sections. I hit Command D to deselect, and now I've got a choice between three sections, or if I hide that, two sections, and either one I can apply with my vertical to create a box of six or a box of four. So you see how you can use this very quickly to create however many cells you want to then place your pictures in. It's very easy once you get the habit of using those lines and then letting Photoshop do the work of distributing them for you. Okay, so right now we're going to work on just doing a quick four panel collage. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take both the horizontal and the vertical I'm going to make it into a group because I want to keep all those pieces together, but I also want to be able to take and make one into a solid frame. So I'm going to copy that group again, and now I'm going to hide the bottom one. And because I've got inside here the vertical and horizontal, if I want to make them all one layer together, I'm going to merge everything together. I can do that with the shortcut Command E. If I back up and undo that, I could also do this by simply coming here and saying merge group by right clicking on that layer and just finding merge group okay so now I've got this frame sitting here let's bring some pictures in I'm gonna go over to my bridge and I've already got four pictures that I know I want to put in there they're all horizontal landscape in their shape and so they're gonna work fine I'm going to take all four of them and highlight them using my shift button and I'm going to do a shortcut by coming up to tools, going to Photoshop and going, let's load all the files into a Photoshop layer. Instead of opening each one of them as an individual file, it's going to put them all in one file and they're going to be layers stacked on top of each other. This will make it much faster when we bring them over to our collage. I'm going to change the view and now look, we've got all four of them in one file. You can see they're all a little bit different shape, different sizes, and that's no problem. We're going to drag them over and drop them right into the middle of this collage by holding shift. Alright, there we have all four of them. Well the thing is we want them beneath the frame, so I'm just going to drag them underneath that frame. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is I'm always going to work with the smallest picture, and that's going to be that one. And I've decided already that I want to have these be where it's telling a story and this one's going to be in the upper left. I'm going to hit command T and I'm going to free transform this. I got to make sure that this picture at least hits from end to end. So I had to make this a little bit bigger. I could actually tweak it a little bit more and I go OK. Now you see here we've got just a little bit of an overhang going on over here that it's bigger than my frame. So all I'll do is I'll choose my rectangular marquee tool, come in here, and just that section that overlaps, I'll hit delete and just knock it right out of there. Okay, now I'll choose my next picture, and I want the picture of the boy walking away. It's if they're walking, and the story now goes that the boy, whoops, I need to make sure I choose the right layer, choose that layer. I'm going to bring it up here, and now I'm going to resize it, hitting Command T, and then I'm holding my shift button to make sure I don't get any extra wonkiness to my picture. I'm keeping it constrained to the right size. See, all it's going to do is go in and out. I can't go up and down and make it skinnier or fatter. It's just keeping it all the same proportions. And I'm just going to make this so it sets right in there nicely. Once again, I have the issue of the overlap, but the thing is I can simply bring that down behind the other one now, and it's going to be hidden by this picture. So I didn't even have to do any cutting there. Next, I want to come to this one 
where the boy is now returning to his parents. I always try to tell a story with my collages. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to tweak this so that it fits nicely in there. I'm going to hit return. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one using my marquee tool. I've got a little overhang. I'm just going to hit delete. And now the final picture is the reunion. And I'm going to bring it in here. Command T to resize it. I'm holding my shift button to make sure that it constrains to the same proportions. And I'm just setting it up so that it looks nice right in there and I go OK and I don't have to do anything else to that. So in just a few minutes I've created a frame and now I've dropped in all four pictures and it's telling a great story here. Now one of the things I can do to add a little touch to it is to double click on this layer that has the frame and I want to add something special. It's called, I'm going to make it look like it's a fake mat laying over the top of this by simply coming in and using something that you might not think you would use and it's called outer glow but I'm gonna change something up you've gotta come in and change the blend mode to multiply and the color from that color to black and the reason why you do that is now you're gonna just simply tweak the size slider and you can see the shadow starts to appear all the way around this this picture and I'm actually going to drop the opacity just a little bit, but what it does is it makes it look like it's actually got a frame around each one of these pictures. And that's a real neat little tidbit you can do right there. Now, the whole thing is, is you're wanting to do this to make it a great way to give it to your parents or your clients. If you take a couple extra minutes and figure out how to make these nice little frames for your collage and then you can lay it on top of your pictures and give it a little extra touch like this drop shadow, it's going to go a long way in making it look professional and it's going to be a great product that you can give to your clients. So take a little time, play with this, figure out how you can make these templates nice and easy here in Photoshop and it's going to be a great value to your photography and it's going to be a great new product that you can offer through MPICS.